This isn't your usual coffee van. It's run by people like Sunny, who needed a hand getting back on track after experiencing mental ill health. I would be lost without Grow and Grind. Um, something to wake up to, to go to every morning, a helping hand to all the people that need it um, and the community um, and, and to better yourself. Joining the van comes with barista training and in some cases a paycheck. In just two years of operation, more than 50 people have learned to make coffee with five employed on the van. How many should you for somebody to, to be able to go out there and get a job with the skills that they've learnt on the van will hopefully uh, you know, enable them to, 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 to build that money up and get back into housing or a private rental themselves. It sounds simple, using cups of coffee to address homelessness, but it's what comes with each cup, a job, income and skills, that Grow and Grind says makes all the difference. Another part of the equation is getting people housed, which Minister John Carey told an event to mark the opening of Homelessness Week was his priority. We said we would deliver 1,300 social homes in the toughest construction market in our state's history, and we made it. 1,356. We're using every lever. But those on the front line say they also need more funding for services like Grow and Grind, as well as rent relief. Because what that will do is try and alleviate some of the pressure that so many people are going through and also try and stop more people falling into homelessness. A growing issue with no easy solutions. Kean Burke, ABC News.